Jason Petrie, uh, senior designer, Nike Basketball, here to talk about the Air Max LeBron 7, kicking in in Akron, my man Mays. Uh, just here to talk a little bit about the inspiration and some of the technology going on in the 7. Um, coming off the 6, uh, a totally different shoe for LeBron. Uh, we're looking to incorporate a lot more uh, of Nike's newest technology, introducing some new things for LeBron, but also keep it uh, wearable off the court. So. We looked at the six, which is obviously a very off-court friendly shoe, and we really want to take that to a different level, really zag while everybody else is, is zigging, if you will. Um, so coming off of this season with the six, we knew we had this new 360 degree airbag to start with to protect LeBron through his 82 game season and really provide him with air underneath his foot strike. Um, under every step, he'd be, he'd be walking on air basically. So we knew we had that in our back pocket, but that's just one thing. So how else do we improve the shoe for LeBron coming off the six? So in addition to moving from Zoom to Max, we looked at how do we lighten up the upper? How do we get these shoes to be overall lighter, overall thinner, um, overall a better solution for LeBron in that 82 game season, but something that doesn't lose strength or durability, uh, something that's still gonna provide uh, LeBron with the support and the stability that he needs in a shoe. So. Uh, we delved in, kind of chopped up the six, got rid of what we didn't need, started looking at these new revolutionary materials like Flywire, um, replaced the Zoom with the full Max unit, um, and then looked into LeBron's life uh, for inspiration off the court. Um, started looking into, into things like cars that he may buy, uh, hotels he may stay in, places he may shop. Um, really get an insight into the, that top level of, of product and experience that LeBron is used to. And how do we bring that into his shoe? Technologically speaking, with the 7, we wanted to start all over again, start from the inside out and really build this, this idea of a comfort revolution. So looking at, at the inside of the shoe, seamless inner booty actually surrounds the entire foot, a zero space mentality, really uh, protecting the foot from, from any seams or any sharp points, uh, but providing this kind of glove-like fit that Nike is known for, but how do we engineer it for LeBron and for the seven? So from that comfort revolution story, we kind of let that bleed over into the outside of the shoe. It's kind of why you see this really soft, comfortable lining material here at the collar. It really leads you into the inside and that seamless inner booty and this really soft, protective pod up against your, up against your ankle. So you're not really pulling a uh, hard or, or, or tight material against your ankle. It's really padded and wrapped in this luxurious comfort. Um, and that goes for everything here around. Whatever touches your foot has been considered uh, and, and engineered in a way uh, to perform better than what we've used in shoes in the past. So moving down into the upper from, from the inside, obviously the use of Flywire uh, is certainly apparent uh, in the upper and the Flywire panel was engineered for LeBron. We took what we learned from Hyperdunk and a few other shoes and engineered the, the grid and the strength of the flywire, we actually upgraded um, the flywire strands, made them a little larger, a little thicker, so you get a little uh, more tensile strength out of them, um, and engineered the pattern to reflect uh, some of LeBron's lifestyle, you know, the, the milk crate technology and, and some of these things from LeBron's past, but it also actually strengthens the panel and allows it to work uh, independently uh, or in concert with the upper. It, it basically makes an uber strong panel out of a super lightweight material. Now we took that very technical piece and wrapped it in luxurious leathers. So you kind of, you're not going too, uh, too technical and too, too off the street, or off the court, I'm sorry. Uh, you're really getting this beautiful, uh, beautiful patent, beautiful pebbled leather. Um, again, taking inspiration from these beautiful cars and these beautiful suits and, and, and beautiful finishes in, in these hotels around the world and, and these different aspects from LeBron's life. The patent leather actually um, is a new patent leather that, that we're using in Nike basketball for, specifically for this shoe, inspired by the, uh, the Rolls-Royce drophead coupe and the piano black finishes on the inside of that car really kind of inspired this finish. And functionally, it also serves to hold LeBron's foot on the footbed because patent leather is a little stiffer, a little firmer, and actually pulls the midsole up into the shoe. Um, and that goes for the medial side as well. We obviously use flywire even on the medial side. See a little bit more of that leather, um, but still very technical and functional with the flywire in the areas where we need it. And then moving down from the upper into the midsole, we use uh, a foam called Kushlon, which is basically a lighter, more responsive 
Phylon. Phylon is a foam Nike's used for years. Cushlon is an upgrade of that, a little more rubber content in it. Um, so you get a little better rebound, it's a little softer. And that works as a system with this 360 airbag to really give you a smooth, buttery transition, um, shock absorption, impact protection. Uh, everything just comes together to work in harmony um, as one when the, when the shoe's all put together. Um, and then finally moving to the outsole, uh, we see, you see this herringbone that grows from small to large, kind of reflecting LeBron's growth as a man, um, but also incorporating herringbone uh, into a LeBron shoe, uh, which is a tried and true kind of Nike traction solution. But you see we've split it and segmented it so that the outsole moves and breaks with the natural motion of the foot uh, as opposed to fighting it. So from the bottom all the way up to the top, every little element has been considered and refined in a way that will benefit LeBron's game and your game. So looking uh, aesthetically for, for inspiration and how we kind of refine some of these technical elements, obviously uh, we feel like the LeBron 7 has a lot of style as well as a lot of technical function and performance. And I think the key is, is, is using design and style um, to take these technical elements and bring them uh, to a wearable place, something that, that you're gonna wanna have on your foot with jeans uh, as well as your basketball shorts. So um, there's a lot of elements here inspired by parts of LeBron's life. Um, certainly if you start, we'll start at the bottom, you've got kind of this uh, 3D, um, almost uh, storytelling device here in the middle of the shoe and everything this is the epicenter of the shoe. Everything rings out from the shoe. You can see the, the, uh, the ripples coming out from that, that, that center point, 23 lines, um, kind of representing LeBron's number, obviously, um, cut through there. And then the, the growing herringbone, the five flex grooves representing the five guys from the More Than a Game um, movie, his teammates, his friends growing up, LeBron representing this middle, and then, and then the other guys kind of filling the lanes um, as, as he breaks down the court. Um, so there's a lot of storytelling going on here in the, in the, uh, in the outsole. Um, in the midsole, you can see the L and the J um, taken straight uh, from, from LeBron's uh, tattoos, you know, like you see them at the free throw line and the L and the J on the triceps are, are iconic and, and we wanted to bring a little bit of that uh, into this shoe as well. Um, the, the small and kind of uh, detailed LeBron logo on the, uh, on the lateral side was actually inspired by uh, looking at, at luxury brand shoes and how um, they're not over logo. They're not, you know, they're all about uh, not necessarily the designer, but just the the beauty of the product. And, and looking at things like Louis Vuitton and, and Gucci, and how you know they just have this little kiss of a beautiful logo in the heel was really inspired by 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 that kind of thought. Um, and doing it in metal is obviously strong, but it ties back to a lot of LeBron's previous products and this kind of regal, uh, kingly feel uh, that a lot of his shoes have had. Um, same goes for the uh, eyelet here at the top. You'll notice it looks like a big V. Well, that's a Roman numeral five uh, standing for those five players in the more than a game um, saga and those, those five guys as a team, how important those teammates were to LeBron's life. Uh, but when you look closer at that eyelet, again, made out of metal for strength and, and that, that kind of regal feel, you'll see two small hash marks here on the rivet, basically converting that five to a Roman numeral seven to represent uh, that this is the LeBron seven. Um, also uh, on the tongue top, seven flywire uh, cables here behind, uh, behind his signature, um, representing the seven as well. And then you'll notice there are 10, uh, 10 flywire strands on the two pods below it, just kind of representing the 10 guys on the court. Again, this shoe is all about a celebration of, of LeBron's style of play, which is all about team. Um, the piano black coming from the, the Rolls Royce. Um, you know, this, the swoosh tail and logo placement were directly from LeBron's input, some things from the original sketches that, that he just really gravitated to and uh, we, we really worked hard to keep in there. There's a lot of actually pattern trickery that goes on just to get this little tail um, to finish, but there's a reason why that tail finishes like that and that's really come straight from LeBron uh, and, and what he wanted to see in the shoe, how we can make it different from every other Nike shoe that you see out there. Um, so. And then lastly, I, I, the, the crate, uh, the milk crate um, pattern on the fly wire. Milk crate is obviously a very strong, lightweight uh, solution, um, but it also harkens back to um, the rock. And you know, you know LeBron and Jay-Z and, and that part of his life is, is, is important and, and just kind of wanted to give a little wink um, 
to what those guys are about and, and bring that into his shoe as well. So this is it from Akron. Jason Petrie here with the LeBron 7, kicksinthecity.com. Enjoy it. Be on the lookout for those special releases. Look out for that world tour. LeBron's coming to a town near you. And I'll see you 48.